Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Hope you guys are wonderful. Just sitting here shuffling. Oops, sorry about that. Your deck. Let me get this one now. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn. Enchantment. Under the deck is romance. Interesting. Enchantment. So kind of like a magical, fun energy with romance being under the deck. Okay. I always think when I pull that card, it's like magic. Something magical could happen. That's what I put, I put the, um, oh, those just fell right out. That's what I, oh, look at, look at, you got the, oh, I saw the masculine, I'm sorry. Like, I saw the masculine and the feminine's under the deck, but what popped out? Boundaries, trust, something's coming to fruition. <gasps> That's kind of exciting. So it's kind of like something magical could be happening for you in your romantic life. And it's almost like I feel like you kind of need to like tell the people to go away with boundaries like just let this unfold for you not talk about it or share it or just like it's kind of like when you want to be home alone or you don't want people to come over and visit you just want to kind of like um like you're manifesting this quietly not telling people and it's exciting let me see what's in between here you got path and release okay masculine release the path to the feminine this is kind of far in the deck. So I just thought I saw both of these together is why I was kind of excited, the fem feminine and the masculine energy. But it could be, if you're the masculine watching, maybe it's time to release the path because it may be different than what you're thinking to get to the, your counterpart. And obviously this, we all, we all know feminine could be a man or a woman and it could be a man and a man or a woman and a woman. You all get that. But um, so boundaries, trust. Something's coming to fruition. Something magical is happening here. Three, five, and ten. Oh, yeah. That's true. Angels around, guides around. Something's changing. Something's coming to fruition. Something magical. Okay. Well, let's go to your tarot now. Let's see if this matches what you have in the oracle. Capricorn, semi rising, and Venus. I feel like some of you have held on to a dream or something for a while, and it hasn't just come. It hasn't come in or tr hasn't come true. Because I saw the four of coins, five of coins. So it's like hanging on to something. I feel like it's time to let something go in order for it to manifest in a different way. I'm not saying it's not going to come in. I'm saying the way you think it's going to come in might not might not happen that way. There definitely could be some message or something arriving that is unexpected. Also, but let me see what is going on for death. Yeah. There you go, right off the bat. Five of Wands, Tower. The Four of Wands is the hidden position. Knight of Coins fell out, but I'll pick them in a minute. Can be the challenge, but it's probably just the hidden, what you don't see. And then Two of Cups, yeah. The Moon is under the deck, so this is a card to me of enchantment, magic, things happening, maybe a Pisces. Knight of Coins fell out, and he was, was he after the Tower? I think he was right around here, right? So what happened right there? It's like waiting. That's like the boundaries card. Waiting for some sort of communication, knowledge, message, page of wands. And it's like you're going to get what you want. But you may not tell people. It's not coming in the way you expect it. Um, there's, this is like a fight. And this is like a, like a ending. So but we have death here too. So like obviously something here is blowing up. But your outcome is the two of cups. This is... I kind of feel like definitely something is going to happen in a way that you are not expecting, Capricorn. Uh, maybe there's a Scorpio for some of you involved because you have both Scorpio cards here. But walking away, feeling weighed down, and there's the Four of Wands and it's in the hidden. So there is there is some sort of new beginning. This is a new relationship for me. It can be moving someplace smaller, someplace um, nicer, feeling more at home. What's this Five of Wands energy? Eight of Coins, Judgment, and the High Priestess. Okay, let me go to your tower also because... Oh, something just fell out. The Ace of Swords. Let's see what else? You're gonna get some news or knowledge. There's the Knight of Coins again. The world. Justice. Okay. Hmm. There's de something definitely on the horizon for you. I feel like for some of you Capricorns, you're frustrated. You're frustrated with the work you do. You do not like it. You want to quit. Um, others of you. Capricorn, Libra, but um, looking at the past, see the Ace of Swords fell out and that's like a message, that's truth, that's finding something out. Sagittarius just had that too in their reading, but um, 
this is like getting fed up to me. This is like looking at something that hasn't made you happy or someone else is not happy with the situation. So it's like getting, it's like getting more clarity. Let me clarify this high priestess because that is knowledge, but at the same time, page of swords, spying or could be communication. What is this four of wands? Two of cups again, the four of cups and the strength card. So I'm kind of getting there's there's knowledge coming out for you also. The fool's under the deck. It's good knowledge. It's it's something's something's going down. Someone is fed up. Someone is like, I'm I'm and it could just be like, you know, I'm quitting this job and I'm leaving. It doesn't have to be a big, big blow up. It kind of looks like it could be for some of you. Others of you, this is kind of like because Tenant wants me is moving. He's got all that crap on his back and he's carrying it to his new place. Um someone's like, I'm just done with this situation. Tower can be moving also. But I feel like for some people, there could be, if you have a temper or someone has a temper, there might be someone who has an explosion. But, and maybe that's what's like, that pushes you out over the edge. Like, I'm just done. I don't, this is kind of weird because this energy up here, the oracles are, is much more lighthearted. The boundaries card, that may be where you lay boundaries down with someone and, and just say like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to work here anymore. I don't want to be here. I just, I don't want to live here. And then it's like someone, I feel like someone's going to break down and tell you something. A strength card tells me that it's difficult to say something like, oh, I don't want to tell this person this, but um, I'm going to just tell them that I have feelings for them. It could be because the Knight of Coins could be you if you're younger. It could be you're dealing with someone who's an earth sign who's younger, or it's just somebody looking back at the past, looking back at all the crap, looking at back at the lies, the deception, because this feels like someone is like finally speaking their mind and saying, you know, what? I'm just, I've had it. Okay. Let's go to your outcome because it's the two of cups and page of coin. The six of cups is in reverse. The So someone is like, finally, it could be an air sign. It could be you, but um, somebody's finally getting like their senses together. It's like, it's, it's about time is kind of what I'm feeling, but it's like six of cups came out in reverse. That tells me someone does not want to go back to the past. Whatever the situation was right here, a relationship, a job, someone's saying, you know what? I don't want to do this. Now this could be you because we're getting a lot of earth here. So it could be you saying this. But page of coin, not wanting to go back to the past, manifesting a win, the six of wands in love, manifesting a new beginning in love. Okay, what is this four of wands? The moon. See, there's seven of swords. There's stuff you don't see coming. This is the enchantment card right here. This is the magic. And I don't know exactly what it is because it could be very different for all of you. And it may not even be revealed to me as a reader. Stuff is hidden. But there's new love coming for you with the Two of Cups. Now, is it a brand new person or is it somebody you already know? That's the question. It could be, it could be someone you know. Okay, this is what I kind of feel. I feel like you were dating someone. This person may have already been in a relationship. This person was putting up a lot of crap. They were not going to get out of that relationship to be with you. Now they're seeing like they're putting up with a lot of crap. They may, they may be putting up boundaries. And this is coming to fruition for you. They're finally coming towards you. They want a new beginning because the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups is like a new beginning in love. It's a very strong connection here between you and this person. So let me let me go to this deck. Let me see what Spirit has to say about the whole situation. <clears throat> what does Spirit want you to know? Okay, there's a card here of rejection, but also intuition. And I believe this may be speaking about a past rejection because it says... Now, the card says, and I don't always go by these cards, this rejection is actually divine protection. Now, I don't get that's what's going to happen. Unless this is rejection here they're talking about. Someone else is being rejected. I don't think you're getting rejected, Capricorn. You may have been in the past by this person, if it's somebody you do know. But I think they're rejecting something. There's, or, or, if, or if this is you, maybe you're rejecting a, a relationship, a job, to, so you can move forward and manifest something better. So, and under the deck, it's intuition. So see, I'm kind of getting like, some of you are rejecting a job or working with somebody. Five of Wands, you guys don't see eye to eye. You don't get along. But this is actually in a position of someone else's energy. So I'm sorry, I don't mean to be confusing because I feel like some of you may be dealing with other earth signs and they are going through this. But it doesn't really matter. This is showing by someone else's energy. I feel like this person is rejecting something. They're finally listening to their intuition. There could be words exchanged, not with you, but with someone else. I feel like this person is coming towards you, Capricorn, and revealing how they feel. But boundaries, trust, something's coming to fruition. Something is manifesting. Trust and manifestation. Okay. 
I hope you allow me to step up and turn things around. If I could turn back time, I would and do it differently. You made me see a side of me that I've grown to hate and you will always have a special place in my heart no one else can fill. Okay. And I do believe this person is, is talking to you, Capricorn, about uh, the past. So you have history of this person. That's kind of what I feel. What is going on for Capricorn? Yeah, courage. So again, that's that um, strength card, having courage to manifest dreams. Okay, so I think that's what's really important. Someone is finally stepping up and the whole reading is showing that with the tower and everything that they're like, okay, I have enough's enough. I've got to put this person in their place. I got to set boundaries. I got to tell them I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. I'm out of here. And that is what, because the dream is to have um, the two of cups. The dream is to be in love with someone, to be in a loving relationship. And I feel like that person is you Capricorn. So they might be a Leo, but it doesn't need to be. But what is, um, what else for um, Capricorn do they need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? What do they need to know? Strength, oh my goodness. So in that deck also, because there's an opportunity. So I kind of feel like you may get a sudden message, a text, whatever, um, that you may not be expecting. I'm seeing it here, this Four of Cups with this Two of Cups and the Strength, strength card, right? And it was kind of like um, a message that may kind of hit you late at night. Um, someone's been thinking about you. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, they start talking to you. Something like that. That's kind of what I'm picking up. What else did this person say to Capricorn? You see my soul. Nobody understands me like you. And I wasn't woke. Okay, so they didn't understand the connection at the time. Will you open up your heart again to me? So this is obviously someone you do know. You have a, a you have oh, let's experience. You have past history with this person. Um, yeah, I'm four cups and high priestess. So I kind of feel like saying it's going to come fast. The message is going to surprise you. You may have to take some sort of action. Um, so just be ready. What does Capricorn need to know? Eight of cups. Somebody is walking away from a situation, and there's a tower. Yeah. Listen to your intuition or the spirit, you know, guiding you for coins and the sun. Could be four days, four weeks. Also, this person has been holding on. Yeah, two of cups is under this deck also. Has been holding on to this connection with you and holding back at the same time. They may be kind of shy, Capricorn. Might be, again, we got Pisces, Leo, Scorpio here. But, but more importantly, this person might be looking for an opportunity to reconnect with you, to talk to you. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. Did we pull from this deck? I don't think so. I can't, I can't even remember. Okay. What would this person tell um, Capricorn? What would this person say? You didn't see my tears. Just being near you is intoxicating. I miss seeing you and I want to tell you how I feel. But they don't know what you want. So that's why they're kind of timid. They're afraid that maybe they ruin this. It's over. You know, it's kind of like, what are you thinking, Capricorn? So... Let me pull from one last deck for any other insights and try to close her. What else does Capricorn need to know? You guys are soulmates. Okay. There could be some watching going on right now. Sunglasses under the deck. But I'm going to leave it here, Capricorn. Have a great week, you guys.